Well, you know the story of Miss McGillicuddy, of course. So there was good Miss McGillicuddy. She was a very, very pious Catholic. She prayed three times every day. She prayed in the morning when she got up. She prayed in the evening before going to sleep. And all day, through the day, she prayed for all the good souls that, that needed just a little. Yes, thank you. Even the dog prays for Miss McGillicuddy. So there's Miss McGillicuddy. And what should happen? But God forbid she should get hit by a bus, driven, of course, by nuns and orphans. So there she is. She's up at the pearly gates. And who's there but St. Peter himself to welcome her? And he says, Miss McGillicuddy, you have been such, such a good Christian. You have prayed so long, so much of your life. You've been such a good person, helped so many people. What can we do for you? A wish. Just name anything. We will do it for you. And she says, oh, oh, St. Peter, all my life I've had but one question. I would love to talk to the Virgin Mother herself, Mary. He says, well, that's, that's really quite, quite, quite in order, but we'll see what we can do. Suddenly, there she is. Big, long, white corridor, pure light at the end. She's walking down. It's getting brighter and lighter. All she can see is white light. But then there, at the end, she sees a throne. And she approaches. And there upon the throne, she sees Mary. And she goes up to her feet and she prostrates herself and says, Mary, my whole life I have prayed to you. And there's one question I've always wanted to know. What is it like to be the mother of the Son of God? And Mary, in all her majesty, looks at her and says, Ik wilde eerst ook niet meer mis. Ik heb gewoon wat een medelij.